Hello everyone, welcome to Linux Tutions. Uh, myself, Mansoor Rajan, I'm senior Linux and web consultant in IT Marcus Technologies powered by Soros Planet. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna continue our video series, uh, Jenkins Tutorials. Uh, previously, we saw how we can integrate uh, Jenkins with Jira. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna continue to show you how you can create a parameterized jobs. So, what is the purpose and why do we need? So, uh, assuming that you have a project uh, where you have multiple developers uh, working on the same project and you are, and they would like to test their code as well and you have a single development environment. So, what are you going to do? You, either you create a separate environment for each developer and uh, also you, can, you need to create a, a separate uh, Jenkins doc for uh, each developer. Uh, in this case, uh, what we do, we normally create parameterized job. Parameterized jobs are not considered to considered for production environment. It only considered for dev environment, QA environment, and UAT environment. So, uh, in that case, well, what we need to do is uh, we need to enable developer to deploy their own code with a single uh, single Jenkins job. So, uh, with this, uh, uh, what we can do is we can provide some uh, parameters to developers, so developer can specify their own code of branch. They, uh, they uh, like they can specify their own forks, uh, and they can they can do a lot of uh, stuff with the uh, with uh, with the parameterized jobs. So, in this uh, in this video, what we are doing uh, or targeting, we are going to update uh, or enable developer. To deploy their own uh, forks like uh, i have a projects fork uh, with my name so uh, i would be able to deploy or test my uh, fork with a single job also i can specify the branch i would like to deploy uh, and also uh, i would like uh, i would like to update or like a uh, relevant ticket which i want to want to update so in that case what we need to do is uh, we need to specify uh, or we need to uh, we need to log into the Jenkins, create a no new item. After clicking a uh, new item, uh, we will be redirected to this screen. Uh, we need to choose freestyle project, and we can just give a free name, free project dash dev. So after clicking OK, uh, I'll be redirected to uh, this particular screen. So I'm just giving some friendly information over here about the project which I have created. So this is uh, parameters. Okay. So uh, after this, uh, we are good to go. Now we need to specify Git URL. So I have a project which is on gitlab.com. So I need to clone that project. So I'm using the HTTPS version right now. So I need to copy it and it's specify over here and I need to choose the credentials. Don't forget if you have a parameterized job so you need to choose the choose your credentials as well. So uh, from here you need to choose your credentials either uh, RSA or you can specify the RSA key to the uh, Jen uh, for Jenkins key to GitLab as well. So. As of now, I'm not. I'm leaving it uh, with my HTTPS credentials. So, here I'm saying uh, this is it. Uh, now I need to add some parameters. Uh, I need to find this particular option. This project is parameterized. After this, I need to click on it and add click on add parameters. I can specify lots of parameters: credentials parameter, file parameter, Jira issue parameter. As of now, I'm using a string parameter because I need to specify my fork name as a uh, specific uh, parameter. So I'm saying a variable called fork name. So I need to add another parameter uh, which I'm going to use for branch specifier. So again, add parameter a string. Here I say branch so what i need to do is i need to specify dollar my variable name next thing i would like to add a jira ticket updater as well so user would be or developer would be able to select their own issues uh, which they want to update uh, i'm choosing jira issue parameter i'm saying jira 
issue to track okay so description could be anything okay now we need to specify the jql query for this sake i need to go to the jira and i need to go to all issues from the all issues what i need to do is i need to select those options uh, which i wanted to use uh, let's say i i wanted to use you uh, the project only related that is uh, youtube content so uh, i wanted to list uh, all the ticket which are related to uh, um, youtube content so i need to choose it from here youtube content uh, i wanted to see all the task so uh, only task or maybe stories so uh, i would like to see a uh, uh, ticket listing uh, in the junkins job which are task or stories not everything uh, status uh, could be to do and in progress so i don't want done tickets okay assigning could be anyone or if i wanted to choose some specific assignees so i can i could choose from here and i can or uh, add some more parameters then i need to click on jsql switch to jsql now uh, i need to click uh, copy this jquery jql query and paste it over here i am pretty much done with now the last part which i need to do is i need to update because i need to update the jira ticket so what i need to do is uh, i need to find uh, or update jira so in the post build action i need to up, uh, click on jira update relevant issues and here i need to uh, select the default selector uh, whatever uh, coming uh, coming from this parameter uh, it will it will update from here so i just need to click on save build with parameters now i need to specify my fork name which is mansoor ali 901 i need to specify branch if i go to my gitlab.com so i can see uh, i have four branches uh, but for this sake i am choosing nginx branch so i am saying deploy the nginx branch and i wanted to update a uh, yt-2 so when i click on build it will take a while to so here i can see the console output so what console output says uh, it uh, it clones my fork mansoor ali 901 which i specify then what it does it update my yt uh, yt dash 2 ticket so if i go to yt dash 2 i can see free project that is this one so it updated updates this particular project so uh you can do a lot of stuff with parameters uh if i go back and click on configure and if i uh, if i show what you can do is you can add some boolean param parameters choice parameters credentials if you want to uh, supply some credentials uh, uh you can you can uh, add it uh, inject it at uh, inject in any any of the like you can choose the value uh anything you can you can do uh, like you can pro provide some parameters uh, uh, lots of stuff you can do so uh, i hope uh, this video will give you a idea about the parameterized job uh, and you would like this video uh, if you like this video uh, go and share this video subscribe our channel and thank you for watching this video